Good evening. It's been so wonderful to meet so many of these families and parents who've been a part of this journey that I've been on for three years. Uh, I'm one of the newest board members, and I'm from California. So I wanted to share a little bit about what is Charlotte Mason Institute. Um, it's a, the organization is a nonprofit, and we, we do research to amplify the educational theories and practices of Charlotte Mason. We help educators practice relational education through curriculum, conferences, publications, training, and social media. So it's a wide, wide tree of, of, of what CMI does. So I'm going to change gears and give you about a five to ten minute presentation about the new work that is being released today. It's been released. It's the website and the rebranding of Alvieri and Charlotte Mason Institute. Um, and I'm going to walk you through it. And without getting too corporate, I think it's really important that we understand why this matters. Um, we use the resources here. We're learning about it. And it's really important that we can have a strong visual and identity sense of what, what Alvier and Charlotte Mason Institute is. So last, last year, during a moment of frustration, when I was looking for an exam to print out for my daughter, I couldn't find it very easily. So I clicked on the Contact Us button, which actually does work, and people do respond. And I got a message back from Dr. Cindy Swicegood, who will be grace us, gracing us with her piano playing um, this weekend, and Dr. Spencer from the Institute responding with a yes in terms of embarking on the design journey with me and my husband asking the question, what would it look like to rethink the CMI and Alvieri website and ultimately the visual identity of the organization? We wanted to amplify the depth of the content that is what we use so often if we are using it. Um, so I'm excited to share what we have. Before I continue, though, I want you to understand why design matters, not just from this project that we embarked on, but just in general as we educate ourselves and our children about good design and clear design. Um, it comes down to form, color, type, textures, images to represent the identity of an organization, and it's a really hard task. Uh, and it's also important so we can carve out where we want our place out in the world as an organization and users. So you can read a little bit over there, and you can go to the next slide, please. We wanted to showcase the content well and make it accessible to a range of cultures, people groups, and learning styles. And we also want to invite a new wave of people into the community. And I think by making design clear, you invite others, and people want to be a part of that. So I'm going to introduce to you now the, refresh, the refreshed Charlotte Mason Institute brand. You can go to the next slide. For the Charlotte Mason Institute mark, the leaf is a symbol of life, but it also represents so much more. A natural and hopeful symbol of growth, community, and connection, the three leaves connect with three, the three core institute values. The leaves are shaped to create a feeling of openness. And this is the logo lockups and the color combinations that you might be seeing. It's a, a dark departure from what the former colors were for the website. And then I'm going to show what the website currently looks like if you haven't been on it. So before, it was a bit hard to navigate through it, but there's a search button, and you'll be able to see more about the Institute, resources for the educators, and be able to ask questions through the Contact Us button. Um, you can find blogs. And there will be tweaks continually being made, but this is kind of the first release right now. I wanted to show you also um, on the next slide what it might look like. My, my husband and I were thinking, we want to be able to see people take pride in like, being a part of what the Institute puts out. And it might be wearing swag. We want to see kids in inner cities and in rural areas being comfortable wearing some of the things that are made, just to feel like they're a part of a, a community. And I'm also going to share a little bit about the Alvieri markup now and the rebrand. So the inspiration behind the Alvieri mark partly stems from the image of a tree, which will be on the next slide. There's a sun peeking out <coughs> through the branches. And we felt that this identity was equal parts a symbol of craftsmanship and equal parts inspiration for our own faith and learning journey 
There are different ways to look at the image, being in awe of God's presence, as well as a visible path of light coming through his creation. We can also interpret it as a pathway of knowledge and exploration. So you can interpret it many ways, but and it's sort, sort of like a Rorschach test, but you see trees, you see books, some people see a Ferris wheel, it's whatever, it's a fun psychology test, take a spin. Um, so it's been a really long process, believe it or not. We did many iterations of the design. Um, some of the designs that we came up with, we had to refine it a bit more. So lastly, as I go through this, um, one of the biggest areas of improvement for the website will be clear navigation and an easier way to find the content so you can advance. And this is the website for Alviary. Um, so the goal of it was the content is top notch, but sometimes accessing the materials is difficult. And we're hoping that through this rebrand and the website refresh, it'll help you to find some of the amazing resources that are there. And lastly, I just wanted to give you a peek of how some of the materials might look in the future, as well as what the potential is of it, whether it's on a, a flag, and that's the mobile rendering, how it might look, how it might look in a presentation. Um, so that is, that is what we have worked on over the past year. So look forward to work, working on more with you. Thank you.